Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Nad. In the last video, we saw how to enable history for Azure DevOps variable groups using Key Vault. It allowed us to integrate with Key Vault secrets and make them available in DevOps pipeline. You can find the link to the video in the description or up here. Using the variable groups integration with Key Vault, we saw that the latest value from the Key Vault is used always. Even if we are to deploy an old release, it will take the latest values as in the key vault at the time of deployment. This behavior might not be desirable at certain times. Also, the default behavior of DevOps variables is to be snapshot with a release. This means when a release is created, the variables associated are also saved as part of the release. Even if the variables change, the release will always have the values at the time the release was created. Let's look how we can enable variable snapshot and still enable the variables to be in Key Vault. Let's head off to Azure DevOps Pipeline. I am using the same application as before. The app settings.json has two variables, connection string and AD client ID that needs to be replaced for each stage. The release has two stages, dev and test. I have removed all links from the variable groups and I've added a few variables in here as you can see. For the dev environment, I've configured a single secrets variable, which has the values of comma separated, AD client ID followed by a version number and connection string. This represents the secrets in the key vault. Going to the Azure portal, we can see that there's an AD client ID in the dev secrets key vault. And this is an older version for the secret. The current version has a different value, which is by default used in the earlier pipeline that we had created. To use this variable, We'll head off to the tasks, go to the dev stage and add a new task. Search for key vault and add the Azure key vault task to your pipeline. Make that as a first task in the list of tasks and make sure to pick up the Azure subscription. For me, that's ultimate and choose the key vault. We'll choose dev since this is the dev task. For the secrets filter, you can choose to put star to select all secrets in that key vault. Since in our case, we have defined the variables, we will use the secrets name for, for the dev stage. To use that, replace the star dollar secrets. Similarly, for the test stage, Let's go and add the key vault task. Make sure that's the first in the list of tasks and select the subscription and the key vault. In this case, test one. We can pass the variables independently as comma separated values here. So I would say AD client ID connection string. Let's save and create a new release with this updated pipeline. Let's trigger a deployment into the dev and see how this goes. Now that it's deployed, let's head off to the Kudu console like before and confirm the variables. Opening up the app settings.json, I can see it's getting replaced with dev ID and dev connection string. Let's go and update the variables to use the latest values from the key vault. I'll need to go back to the release definition, edit that, and update the variables. We'll update the dev one and remove the secret version. Save again, and create a new release. Let's head back to the Kudu console, 
close and reopen the JSON file and you can see the AD client ID is the newer, latest value from the key vault. If I was to redeploy one of the previous releases, going to the release pipeline and choosing release 28, which we had with an old value, choose the dev stage and deploy that again. Let's head back to the Kudu console and open the JSON file and you can see the previous value was used. No more in these pipelines are we using the latest value from the key vault. Each release, as you can see, is getting snapshotted with the variables at the time of deployment and what was there in key vault. In case you accidentally deleted one of these variable groups or variables, you can easily go to your previous release, check your variables and copy the values from there. Since none of these values are sensitive, you can have this as a plain variable and have that always displayed, which makes it easy to copy paste back to your variables when you have accidentally deleted it. Hope this helps. Thank you.